Hello there, it's Monochrome. Welcome back to another video. It's been a while. I know, I know. It's, uh, I took a whole week off for no reasons. This part will be a bit on the annoying side as it's full of scripting. Generally, the software that you install alongside the Tiling Window Manager are minimal software that only does one or two things. So it won't be a fully fledged program that the end user will want to have. This is where scripting comes in. You write scripts to bond multiple things together to get exactly what you want. It's kind of like Tears of the Kingdom. If you play the game, you know. Let's start with the bar first. Before we write the script, we need to know what we want to add on top, on top of the bar. I prefer to have a CPU bar, a CPU temperature, memory usage, Wi-Fi SSID, net network speed, battery life, volume and time. These are the things that I want to have on my bar. It's going to be different for you. All of these can be written into a shell script and then passed directly to Swaba and Swaba will show up, uh, show that output here. For CPU bar and net speed, you got to download uh, a script called CPU bar and net speed from my Git repository. This will be in the description below. Once that's downloaded, we can start writing the script. In here, uh, in awk, nr equals equals to means the number of rows is equal to because we need this. And this is the first row. This is the second row. And this is the third row. And print 3 means print the third column. So when you take this, which is our second row, and then we'll find columns 1, 1, 2, and 3. So we'll need this. So that's why... It's like this. For IW get ID command, we'll have to install a package called network no wireless tools. With an underscore. Once that is done, you can see the Wi-Fi that you are connected to as this. If you do IW get uh, if you do IW get ID dash R, then it will just give you the Wi-Fi name. For net speed, we are running the script called net speed that we just downloaded. Same goes to CPU bar as well.
we have added everything except for battery because we will need to do some logic as well apart from that we have everything from cpu cpu temperature got the ram usage you got wi-fi ssid name internet speed volume and time so you save the thing and you can pretty much run the uh, script as it is and it will show up like a bar if you have set up one more thing yeah for before that we will have to these are all variables so we will have to echo those variable out so once that is done we can write the script save the script and then we'll as you can see it already exists on the raw bar that is because we have added that to the sway configuration file so if you go to the sway configuration file and go all the way down as you can see here while and then we just give it the bar stats location and once that's done we can just restart sway using super shift c and yeah that's pretty much it but uh, since we will need to add the battery as well i'll show you that so in battery there is a bit of a logic that i want to add because uh, i want it to say bat and then the battery percent but if it's less than certain percent let's say 30 percent it should show crit 30 percent instead of bat 30 percent and then if it's charging i want it to say charge or char uh, then the percent that's kind of something i want so for that we'll have to add a bit of logic Now that we have a way of getting what kind of stuff is running, so uh, at the moment my battery is discharging and if I plug in my charger it should show charging and if it's full it should show full. Once you have that data that is here in the bar state variable and then the charger of the system on charge variable we can add the logic. All right, so in this function, uh, there's a lot of if else clause. That's basically it. If bar state is equal to charging, then the device is charging. So we'll need the state that we'll add here at speed, and then we'll have state and then charge because charge is the variable for charging state will be the letter <coughs> if uh, bar state is charging then we'll set that the state is charging and 
else if bar state is fully charged then it will change that to full else if uh, charge and uh, then we will do this to get rid of the percent at the end which so just says 20 instead of 20 percent is less than 20 percent then we will need to say that it's critical right and we also need to make sure that the device is not charging this is for not charging so if it's 20 percent and charging then we don't really need a uh, need to see that it's critical because it's already going to be charging so if it's less than 20 percent and is is not charging then the state becomes critical and then there will be a notification with the urgency of critical that will show up as a red uh, notification and then it says battery below 20 percent charge immediately and then at the end if none of these f things are fulfilled then it will be state will be bad for battery once we have restarted sway uh, as you can see we have the cpu bar and the cpu temperature will oh, i forgot to add one thing here on the cpu we can add percent c i don't know what the percent ascii is so i'll have to look at that look it up but for now we'll just have c and we'll have 20 c basically and then for memory we have ram and then the net memory that is being used we have wi-fi ssid and the network speed then we have the battery state and then the charge volume and then time so if we change volume it also changes so everything works that's pretty much it for the bar there's not many things that we will have to do on the next video, we'll do something about Rofi because by default Rofi doesn't isn't really something that we want. Also, we haven't done screenshots and some other programs as well. So, like wallpaper setting, a lot of that can be done with scripts. So we'll do that later. Uh, I'll see you guys in another video.